All right, y'all, what is going on? Welcome back to the video. Today we're at the river. Super pumped. Where's Shane? He's somewhere there. He's somewhere behind me. The river is just so exciting because you really never know what you're going to catch. And we're going to try to go for some massive gar and bowfin today. But anytime at the river, y'all, I'm going for anything. First thing is first, we'll go over what we're going to do, how we got to get it, but we got to get bait first. Very important. You want big, any big game fish, look at all the bluegill. Any big game fish, you got to get fresh bait, so let's get it. Huh? <laughs> Smells like your feet back here. <laughs> I should have brought someone else with me. <laughs> bait is actually pretty simple to catch out here. Tiny hook and some white bread. Not wheat. We don't stay on the hook too well. Always white. Shane's done a little ultra light. He can catch something like a little rooster tail. Right now there's a small lay down in front of us where it breaks out the current. There should be some bluegill here. There's one. There we go. First bluegill of the day. It's pretty fish. They want to start off. Throw them in the bucket. We're keeping them alive. I'm telling y'all, fresh, fresh bait. Even though they're fresh, if I killed them right now, chain's hung up. It still can affect the day with the quality of fish we're trying to get. Got one? Damn, what is that, bro? Dang. Bro, what a freaking hoss. Shut the camera, Shano. What'd you catch him on? My little rooster tail. Hell yeah. Look at that thing. Big old bluegill. Oh my god, he's like twice the size of the other one. Look at that. <laughs> Two. Think about the river, there's so many different species of bluegill and like hybrids and they all mate and do their own thing. Only every single fish you catch is it's different colors, different patterns. Another great thing about the river. Ooh. Coming at my head. This be a good one to throw a hole, which we will. A little baby. Another. Oh, man, I missed the bucket. <laughs> we actually might be here a little bit longer than what I'm thinking, so. Just to make sure we get enough bait, because once we leave this spot, we're not coming back. Getting a lot of good little small ones to throw a hole, so we're just going to keep on getting a couple more. And another. Alright, we got another bait. Now we're going to hike to our spot. I see type of looters right here, so once we get over that, I'm going to show you guys just literally what we're doing. The game plan of today, we're going for big fish. Big, big fish. Hopefully some of the biggest both and you guys seen the channel so far. I've been hunting down the spot for a while. Reconning and putting in the work and I think it's about time we try to film and make something happen So let's pack up the gear. I'll see y'all over there. Been walking for about 15 minutes We're actually coming up to the spot now. Shane you excited about today, man? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to get on these big boys today Shane's done a couple little recon missions with me around the bridges where I fish but never at the river And I wasn't filming like I said, I kind of reconned it me and my buddy Austin We pop we pop two pretty We pop two pretty big both and if y'all do not follow me on Instagram Lippin Bass TV Got a little sneak peek on that one, so we're heading into our spot right now. Let's see what we can do. I want to bore you, but I know there are some people out there that want to know more about river fishing. Just a couple little tips and dedicate 30 seconds, two minutes, just to explain to you guys how you can find placement on the river to catch fish. And that is a snake I just heard. Nice. So right now, river is flowing down, and the fish are doing that, guys. The fish will use the current to either go down or up to find new placements and pockets on a river. For an example, lay down right here, this is a slack pocket. This is where fish, if they are traveling, you don't know how long, could be for 30 seconds, could be for 30 minutes. If they're coming up or going down, they'll kind of pull off into these little pockets right here. They'll rest, that's where other bait fish will hide too, so it's pretty much a pocket for them just to chill out and to get some food, refuel back up, and they're gonna head back down or go up wherever they're going. So that's pretty much what we're doing today. There's a lot of structure and lay downs in front of us that are kind of suspended. Shallow water's up here, deep water's down here, so it's pretty much a, it's a, it's a little pocket that I've discovered just to try to bear down some more fish. Rivers have good times when to fish right now. I mean, it, it's hot. We're about two hours early. Hopefully, I just, you never know, we can catch this while I like to come out here a little bit earlier. We never know. Shane's sitting on that little rooster tail, we'll try to get some good content for y'all for some smaller fish. You never know. We're going to bait up. It is a time thing. Uh, hopefully, these bow fin and gar will come in little... A little schools, little pockets, and we're just gonna see what we can do, y'all. We're at our bucket right now, grabbing our first bluegill. River fish are extremely smart. You want to keep it as natural as you can. While you bait, you want it to be fresh as all can be because they can smell the difference. I could bring live bluegill with me, but it didn't come from this water. The scents are different. It's just a big, big thing, guys, for fish. You want to put your bait in those areas. And you're pretty much just letting the current do its thing. Any natural bait in here, if it's dead or alive, let nature take its cause, it would just be flowing down the river just naturally. Fish will come up and ambush and grab what they want, hoping they freaking explode on their prey when they're trying to attack it. So you'll know when you got one on. Oh, I just got bit. Yep, something just whacked. This bluegill 
going down. Yep, I got him. I got him. Nice bowfin. Come here, buddy. <laughs> what a jump, dude. He's not that big, but he's still a good fish. Look at him dig, bro. Look at him right there. <laughs> This is actually the smallest boat fin I've stuck in this area, but he's still a really good fish, bro. Look at the power, man. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to walk him to that pocket chain. Look at him, dude. You gotta make sure you grab the leader, not the line. I right, just drag him, don't lift him, just drag him. Nope. He's off. Nope. She gone. But I was just fishing, y'all. Was actually not in one of that slack water. I was just letting my bait drift down the middle. And sometimes they do sit down there too because they right now it's all about ambush and they're just looking for their food it's still pretty hot out so they're not really on the bank yet but we're working to that point that was really quick i'm glad we got that fish that they did get off of the bank but that's just that's fishing y'all you guys got to see him he's probably around seven eight pounds it's not a bad fish to start out consider a catch we touch leader we're gonna bait back up let's get back out there got the old bluegill head on now Cast it right to a lay down and just letting that bait drift down just like I was. Now we're throwing bigger pieces because we're trying to target more of both in than Gar right now. These are way too big for Gar. You'll never get him to eat this whole entire thing. Yeah, you got one, Shane. You got one. Real to him. Got him. Yeah? I got one too, dude. Doubles. Double, Shane. Shane doubles, bro. Oh, mine came off. You still got yours? You got him? Bro, my line's tangled up top. I gotta get out your way. Is he there? I don't know what Bro, I had a massive bowfin. Could have been freaking doubles, y'all. It's all right, though. A lot of fast action, I think, is there. They're stacked in this area. There's one. I got one right here. Big one. Come here. Get out the log. Get out the log. <laughs> Smaller bowfin, dude. But we'll take him. Give him a second just to calm down. He's not going to be happy when I bring him up here. This is the smallest boat and we've caught out of here. You're getting smaller, but we're getting a lot more bites. And that just makes me happy. I just like look at him swimming, man. I don't know, both and are very, very hard to hold, especially when you're trying to film with them. Just let them tire out. Had a muscle in to get him out the stumps. Just let her do her thing. All right, y'all, first boat for the other day. Smallest one so far, the one we lost, around seven pounds. This is around three. But still a gorgeous fish, very aggressive. I think this one that was messing with chains. Ate by the log, had a muscle him in. What a gorgeous fish. Let's throw her back. That's what's really cool, y'all. Try to get a little slow motion release for y'all, but flop, fish flopped out of my hand, but it was really cool. We got to see the fish is tired, exhausted. They just know they live in a river. They know that there's current. Fish was tired from the fight and it was cool we got to actually watch her go to the first natural structure she had was that grass right there and she's still just sitting there she'll get her energy back and then she'll be right back in the river to eat again it's really cool y'all promise me if you're a fan of this channel don't do this shit it really pisses me off the fish got tangled in it now i'm tangled in it. it got to take me 20 minutes to get all this line i just don't get people that do this man and the true good fishermen have to take time out of their day to clean up. So one, it's not messing up their gear and messing with their fish. My case, filming for y'all. I just had to go grab more bait and I grabbed the bluegill. I don't have an aerator in here. So I grabbed the bluegill that didn't get enough oxygen and he kind of killed over. Still alive though, just like that one is in that bucket right there in the corner. You want to use those first, go down the line of what's starting to kind of die off to what's still swimming around healthy. I'm telling you, fresh bait. Fresh bait is where it's at. Keep it as fresh as you can. Good cast, bro. Shane just put into a money spot out of the current with the structure in front. He's right behind it. Perfect spot for one of them big old bowfin girls to hang out. All right, so right now, didn't even feel the bite, but my line's dropping and I can just tell something's going on with it. Yep, I got a fish called her on that one here we go got her come here baby oh it just came off bro come on you got one shane get him get him bro i don't know where my line's at i'm around you all right shane we're we're we got something going on we're tangled man keep him pinned bro keep oh shane you got a good one dude my line's all wrapped around yours man what you got big bowfin dude big bowfin shane <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> get him, man. Get him. You're over. Just try. <laughs> Big and dude. Shane, try, man. Try. 
All right, bring her towards me. Just got it. Got her around. Got her around. <laughs> Come on, dude. Bring her, bring her. Dude, you're stuck. It's stuck. Oh, no. Dude, she's barely hooked in the tip of the mouth. All right, off, off. All right, just grab, grab leader and just slide her up. Slide her, slide her. Just hit me in the eye with your rod, dude. What a fish, Shane. Shane, how does it feel to catch? That is about a nine pound bowfin, dude. It's like a monster, dude. Oh, these things have so much power on them. It's insane how they kick and how they fight, dude. It's just solid muscle the whole way through. Look at that freaking fish, man. Let's toss man. her back. Oh. Or just let her toss back herself. <laughs> Very, very grateful, Shane. You landed that fish, man. I don't man. know what happened. I got bit, set the hook, mine came off. Shane wanted to get up my way, ruined it in. And when he did that, Shane had a fish on. A freaking lines got tangled. My line wrapped around his, allowing his line out the pool. Like, very stressful situation. But man, I couldn't even pull it no. in barely because you were tied up with me so much. Fish ran right here. We almost literally, and it was, dude, it was hooked. Fish right there. He was hooked right at the tip of the mouth, man. I mean, literally almost came off. Shane, biggest bowfin ever, right? Yeah, biggest one. That was Congratulations. Good. Let's do it again. Let's yes, get it Oh yeah, I got one. I got one. What is it gonna be? Got him. Might be a Come here, buddy. Come here. Not in the snag, not in the snag. And he's in a snag. And he's out. Come on, don't do it to me. Come on, don't do it to me, don't do it to me. I almost fell in the water. Not even that big of one, dude. He looked bigger out there. Still not a bad one, though. Pound bigger. Dude, it's got two hooks in his mouth. Someone's caught this fish, dude. Or it's broke off. Look at the hook. I feel so bad. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Somebody did not have the right gear to tackle you. Second boat from the day for me. This one's around four pounds, a little bit bigger. She had a massive, like a four-aught octopus hook in the corner of her mouth. It actually fell out when we were taking our hook out. So I'm glad this fish does not have any hooks in her anymore. She can go back in the water and swim off. Let's go ahead and toss her back. Go ahead and let her go. Thank you for that. Let's see if we can find that hook that came out of that fish's mouth. I just saw it a second, right here. Freaking massive, it looks like a three-odd octopus hook. Not good, y'all. I'm glad we got that out of her mouth. That was not rusting any time soon. It's like a saltwater hook. So weird. The bite has absolutely slowed down. I was also throwing that giant head. Just lost that head and all of my leaders. So literally just tying a straight hook now. Smaller piece of bait. Hopefully we could pull one or two more off. I think Shane's, yeah, he's going for bass now. I'm not giving up. Neither does Shane. Shane popped his big one, but man's going for some bass now. Old big belly Kelly Bowfin's calling my name still. So let's get after it. I thought I had a jumbo, bro. Quit hissing at me. Ah, stop. If you're turtle lovers, here you go. Please don't bite my stuff again. All right, y'all, what a freaking day. Kind of sucks, ran out of bait, even though we got a lot. And the bite just shut off towards when the bite's really on, but that's just the way fishing goes. Got three decent sides. Like I said, we counted the one that got off at the bank with the leader. Three decent sized ones, and then Shane stuck a nice, I'm gonna, every bit of nine pounds. How'd that feel, man? Man, it was great. We need to come back out here, get on some bigger ones. I think we'll be out here another day and get an even bigger one. That, hey, he just got a fish right there. Look at him. Oh, himself. dude. He got that, dude. That crane has a giant shad hanging out of his mouth. Try to capture it for y'all. He's gonna get some water. Swallowing that thing down. I'm not even joking. That must be like a 14 inch gizzard shad. Down knee hatch. Stuff like that is why I love being down here at the river because you just, you get to capture it. Y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be back out here soon. Leave a comment if you wanna see more. I appreciate it, guys. Love the best TV.